will grow and still water them. What'd you do? What happened? Huh? Who was in my room? But it was you. Were you in my room? Uh-huh. Bad dogs. Bad. Even though it's daddy's fault, but bad dogs. Y'all need to leave this stuff alone. Get out. Get out of the room. Come on. Get out. Gosh. Get. Stay out of the room. This is bad. Bad. Bad dogs. Bad. Bad. It's bad. Bad. So I'm in the guest bathroom and I wanted to brag about this Febreze thing. This is like the duo, I guess. Brazilian beach or something like that or Brazilian waters or something. It smells so good and I have it on the lowest setting, but I feel like it's so pretty in here. I can't wait till we can start decorating because this wall is just so empty and we need to put something over here. Um, I don't know. I don't think it was us, but yeah, this is why you need a protector for your walls because I don't know. There's also not a door stopper there, but I think this was before we came in and we just didn't notice it, but yeah. <laughs> like the doorknob perfectly goes in there like yeah. So, but I just love our little bathroom. This is what it looks like right now. I love these little shutter things and it had um the owners before had lace right here. And we already took it down and packed it up for them. Um, and then there's like this little chandelier that only has one light. And literally there's no difference. Like, hold on. Light is off. Light is on. Off. On. Off. On. Off. On. Literally makes no difference. <laughs> but we have this little toilet paper holder because there's no like thing right here. And this is my favorite part of this whole bathroom is this little thing right here. I wanna put something like this in the other bathroom and just have like a mirror like this, but I can't wait. There's like this little thing at Walmart that you can put over your toilet that like goes up and down. Like, let me show you. It's like a little cabinet that goes about this high from the toilet, so it's like pretty high. And it goes right here. And I told Josh I wanna put some like standing shelves by themselves right here that way like you can put all your shampoos and stuff in there and then I want like a huge um either like a something like this where it's like a cabinet and it looks nice right here and have like candles on top of it and have like potpourri and stuff and then have like a place to put all the towels. I just made some water I was running low on water and so I got my little Thing, and I just have it next to my bed and I try to drink at least four of these a day. This is my second time filling it up for the day. It's only It's two o'clock. So hopefully by four I need to fill it up again and then by eight o'clock I um, Stop drinking water. Yeah, I'm gonna go outside. It's like pretty nice outside and I'm just enjoying being at home having the time that I have at home and enjoying our little casa so I'm going to go grocery shopping in a little bit. We're having, I've been doing this easy, like if you're a mom, which I'm not, I'm not a mother. I don't have kids, but if you need a really quick recipe for any kind of casserole, literally get any kind of rice stuff. Like this is one last time we used rice a -roni and we did like the broccoli chicken one but we have this cheddar broccoli rice. I'm gonna go get another pack at Brookshire's. And I have chicken, like the shredded chicken. Um, it's like shredded grilled fajita chicken or whatever that um, you can put in fajitas, duh. And you just heat those up, put it in with the rice after that's heated up. And then you put some shredded cheese on top of your casserole, put it in an oven for like literally two minutes and it's done. It only takes four minutes for takes four minutes for this to cook all the way, but since I'm doing two, it's gonna take eight minutes to cook two of these. 
and it only takes like two to three minutes to cook the chicken and you mix those all together and it's literally like 15 minutes to cook the whole thing and then I like to take um we're I'm probably gonna get rolls at the store and we have green beans but I told Josh I wanted to get like fresh green beans like the actual green bean stalks and cut those and make them myself on the oven and seeing if we like doing those better because I'm trying to transition where we eat a lot more whole foods and healthier foods and not eating stuff out of cans because I've noticed the canned green beans when you actually pour them out it has like green dyes in there or it just looks weird and it tastes weird and to me anything that comes out of a can always tastes the same like the canned mushrooms the canned olives pretty much taste the same to me because it has that metallic taste in it and then so does the corn and the green beans they just all have a metallic taste and i'm getting sick of tasting metallic tastes so i want to get like actual fresh vegetables and stuff to cook our food in and plus it's less sugars and sodium for me and it helps my stomach a lot better. I'm trying to lose weight and I'm trying to um, eat a lot better with my borderline diabetic stuff. Like I can get hypoglycemic and hyperglycemic and I just have to make sure I stay in the middle of that. So eating whole foods helps a lot. But I'm gonna go outside, sunbathe for a little bit and then come inside, I'll watch some more Aspen and Parker because I'm almost done and it's almost sad. But I have other YouTubers I want to watch and get those out of the way because all of YouTubers are making like a lot of new videos. All right. I lied. I am going to get something to eat for like a little snack. Um, I am starving and I tried to hold off till like dinner or whatever, but I cannot wait. I need some food now. So I'm gonna do a little snack and I'll show y'all what it is. All right, so in the freezer, I have my whole wheat bread. Cause one, I don't eat a lot of it at once. Um, and I feel like when you do have it in the freezer, it lasts a long time and it still cooks the same or toasts the same. But uh, if y'all are interested in like the whatever that's in our, all this stuff. So. Yep, and two total sugars, which I think the serving size, yeah, one slice. So for one slice, there's like two added sugars, or two total sugar, or two grams of total sugars, but um, two added sugars is what it is. It's just a hundred calories, and I put this spread on it that I am obsessed with right now. Josh bought it on accident because I wanted him to get cream cheese so I could um, do like a cream cheese kind of thing. I forgot what it was. I think it was frosting and I wanted to dip some fruit in it but he got this garden vegetable cream cheese spread thinking it was just cream cheese but no it has like little vegetables in the cream cheese. I'll show you in a little bit. All right so this is my toaster. I've had this for years so it's kind of dirty. But um, I put it all the way on toast and then I put it up to here because it is frozen. So you have to like half of it, it like dethaws it and the other half actually toasts it. And sometimes I'll flip it halfway through. And this is what it looks like nice and perfectly toasted I went from here flipped it and then went from there and it dinged and then put it back around in here like halfway through this little part so in like two and a half minutes flipped it and then flipped it right there and it toasts it perfectly so I love this toaster I highly recommend if it's like on it, wedding registry and stuff I got this for as a wedding present from I think it was my one of my cousins and I loved it so and I'm just gonna put this on a, I'm gonna use my little moose plate I got this from our friends Jordan and Katie they've been showing in a few vlogs here lately um, when we're on the camping 
when we went on the camping trip and when we went to visit them um, a few days ago. Or I don't know if that's going to be in this vlog or not. But I'm going to put this garden vegetable in and show y'all what that looks like. Alright, this is what it looks like. You can see like the little bits. It's like onions and peppers and stuff that's in the cream cheese mixed together. You could probably do the same thing at home. Maybe add some like spinach and everything. But I love this cream cheese spread and it's amazing. But I also want to get like a vegan version of this. I don't want to be completely vegan or whatever because I do love my cheese and I love my normal go-to cheeses that I use for my everyday somewhat everyday eating i'm trying to stay away from a lot of dairy because of my stomach but i feel like the vegan cheese would be so much better but this is my little snack just to tie me over for like the next two hours before i start making stuff but i knew if i was going to go to the store in the next hour or two that i needed to get something in my system because my sugars were feeling really low i was getting really dizzy and um shaky so that's when i know i need some sugars and it has like two grams of sugars so this is going to get me throughout the day or give me for the next two hours back to me watching aspen and parker my tv had turned off so i have to turn that back on again and hook up my phone but yeah so i lied again because now that i had something to eat i have to have something sweet and it's only 3 40 so i should be good to only eat a few of my cookies which are the sugar-free cookies. Um, it's really good to eat. I just like the regular chocolate chip cookies because it's the only thing that's like normal-ish that I can eat. I don't, if I'm eating something that's like sugar-free or anything like that, I like to feel as normal as possible. Like I want it to be normal tasting. So I feel like I'm actually eating chocolate chip cookies because those taste just like Chips Ahoy and I love them. I think Chips Ahoy actually needs to make a sugar-free cookie. That way I get more because there's only like 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20. Yeah, there's only like 20 cookies in there or 24 cookies. And I also eat it with Almond Breeze unsweetened vanilla. And it has zero sugars and one gram of protein. And it has a lot of good fats in it. So I like eating or drinking this with those and I didn't even pour it in the drink <laughs> okay and I am out of that so I need to get that at the store tonight along with more sugar-free cookies <laughs> and again if you eat too many of these it's um kind of defeats the purpose but I love these and it's the only thing that I can really like chow on and it's like 150 calories for three cookies so I kind of eat six cookies, sometimes eight. So I'm gonna go eat my snack. And then hopefully in the next video, we'll be going to Brookshire's. So let's see what happens. Still not at Brookshire's, but Josh did text me and tell me that he is gonna be working late and that he still wants me to make dinner. But since he hasn't put cash into the bank yet, I have to uh, use the card. So I had to wait for him to transfer stuff. So I did like a little 10 minute workout and it beat my butt. I am still trying to get into working out and get back in the groove. I used to be so like, when I was 19 and 20 and 21, I could so do workouts at ease and it would be so simple to do workouts. Now I feel like I can't even get through a minute of a workout or two minutes through a workout. Like it's getting ridiculous. I'm getting old and I cannot keep up. But I'm about to go to Brookshire's if I can get up off this floor. Because I've been sitting on the floor for like five minutes trying to find the motivation to get up. But I need to go to the store. I also use this as like a little workout thing. And just in case, if I can always add weights to a workout, I have this little five pound weight next to me. 